Hurry up, I'm a busy engine, helped Henry. Goods arrive night and day at the docks. Sometimes Henry and the other engines work so hard that the rifles leave. So Tavo had brought in a new engine to help with the heavy workloads. He was long and had ten drive wheels. He was very strong. This is Murdoch. He's going to be pulling freight on the main line. Ahoy, matey! shouted Salty. Welcome, Murdoch. Call Harvey. You're the biggest engine I've ever seen, cried Thomas. It sure is, Thomas. Pleasure to meet you, Murdoch. Name's Dylan, and this is my driver, Nicole. Hey, Murdoch. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you both. But you're a chatty lot. Murdoch said quietly. Soon Murdoch was cobbled to a long, long, long and heavy freight cars. You're going to pull all that? Murdoch didn't answer. His boiler strained, his wheels started to turn, and the mighty engine jumped away. Murdoch long for some peace and quiet, but everywhere he went, it was noisy and crowded. At the end of the day, Murdoch was looking forward to a good night's rest. But Salty and Harvey were full of questions. What's the longest train you've ever pulled? Have you ever worked Marseille? Have you ever crashed? Please, I want some peace and quiet. And I don't want to share a shed with chatterboxes. No need to be rude. Huffed Harvey. Hey, we're only being friendly, matey. The next morning, Barna collected another long, heavy train. Whoa, that train is really long for you to pull, Murdoch. Again, Murdoch didn't answer. This time, he jumped into the beautiful countryside. It was splendid. At last, they had some peace and quiet. Suddenly, his driver applied the brakes. There were sheep on the tracks. The sheep escaped from that field, said the driver. Through that broken fence. The driver and the fireman tried to chase the sheep back, first this way, and then that way. They tried everything, but nothing worked. We'll never move these sheep by ourselves, complained the fireman. I'll go and phone for help, signed the driver. Marta was very unhappy, the noisy sheep were spoiling his peace and quiet. So Top of Head was enjoying afternoon tea when he got the call. Sheep? He exclaimed loudly. I'll send Toby, Dylan, and Nikulin with the farmer immediately. The sheep were becoming noisier and noisier. Please stop. Grumbled my back. I'd rather be back with the chatterbox engines. Just then, Toby, Dylan, and Nikulin jumped in the view. Toby! Dylan! Nikulin! exclaimed Murdoch. We're certainly glad to see you three. Before long, the farmer, his dog, and Dylan went to work, and the sheep were soon safely in their field, and Murdoch was on his way again. Thanks, Toby, Dylan, and Nikulin. Anytime, Murdoch. Yeah, happy to help. That evening, Murdoch parked between Harvey and Salty, but Murdoch spoke first. I'm sorry that I was cross. He jumped. I'm very pleased to share a shed with you. And we're very pleased to have your company, said Arfi. Aye, we are, added Salty. It reminds me of a story. Murdoch smiled. The sound of Bob Bob would have kept them awake, but a Salty's story would send him happily to sleep. Thank you.